This is part two in how to make a simple Wordle clone in App Lab on code.org. In part one, we mostly just set up the design. So we came over here to this tab and created all the boxes and gave them the right IDs. You can go back and look at that. And then the only thing we did in the code was make a variable called answer with whatever word we're trying to guess and set it up so that every time we clicked on this button, it would take whatever word was typed in here and set it to the value guess. And then we were just console logging that. So let's try that part again. And let's just type um, uh, ports and hit submit. And we can see that ports is popping up down here. So that's where we got to before. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check our guess against the actual correct word. And I'll remind you that the word I used just for my sample was the word codes. So before we can check if these two words are the same, well, actually we could check if the two words are the same right now, um, but what we really need to do is check each individual letter because we need to know if the location of each letter is correct. So to do that, we're gonna have to split uh, both the guess and the correct answer into individual pieces. And we're gonna do that using an array or a list. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get to that now. So I'll get rid of this console log. And right up here, I want to make, I've already got guess, it's whatever we type in. I want to make another one called guess array. So that's going to be our listed version. And over here, what I'm going to take is guess whatever they type in dot split. And then I'm going to split it uh, like that. And now let's see if that works. We're going to console log this time. We're going to console log the guess array. If it works, I'll explain what I've done there. Uh, let's try another five letter word break. Okay. So right down here, you can see I've made a list. And the first item on the list is just the B from break. And the second item on the list is just the R. So that split is splitting them apart. All right. Uh, now split can split every time there's a space or every time there's a comma. But if you leave it empty, it's just going to split each individual letter. So that's what these empty quotes are doing. Just breaking it apart by each individual letter. Now we also need to do the same thing to the answer. So uh, let's just copy this guy paste it and we're going to make answer array and we're going to make answer dot split and now let's console log that one just to make sure it's working and what's another five letter word lanky and you can see that the correct answer codes right here is is split up into pieces now we have the power to check each one individually so let's go ahead and grab an if. Uh, first, let's get rid of the console log. Okay, so I'm going to check each individual letter. And since we're doing five letter words, I know I need to check five things. So let's put this whole thing in a for loop. Okay, and we're going to say if I guess array square bracket i. So first we're checking the zero position equals answer array square bracket i so if they're both equal then we need to do two things we're going to put the letter in the blank we're actually going to do that either way uh, and we're going to make that one uh, red so we're going to set i mean green we're going to set the property of that letter to be green so which one are we going to set mm, that's going to be tough we'll do that in a second we're going to do background color green how do we figure out if we're going to switch box 0, box 1, box 2, box 3, box 4? Well, to figure out which one we're going to switch, uh, we're going to need to make another list. And that list is going to have all the names of this in it. So let's do one more. Uh, let's make a variable and let's call it letters. How about that? All right, so the first one is going to be, if you remember from our design, our first one was letter 0. So we'll put that in here first, square brackets, 
letter zero, in quotes, comma, letter one, in quotes, letter two, in quotes, letter three, uh oh, look at all that red, letter three, in quotes, and finally, letter four, in quotes. And to finish it off with a square bracket on the other side, Okay, so now I know that I can use the same eye that's going to check our guesses and our answers to actually determine which box we're in as well. It'll make sense when you see it. So we're going to say letter square bracket I. All right, let's try that. So uh, my word was codes. If I check and they are equal, the guess in that position is equal to the answer, it should turn that box green. And it didn't. Hmm. And that took a second of studying, but what I finally figured out was letter doesn't exist because I called it letters. So I left off one S. So let's try it out. Codes is my correct answer. And it looks like it's working for the first four, but it's not working for this last one. So I think we need to go one more in our for loop. Let's try that. That's working. Let's change this to light green just because I think it looks better. Now let's try doing this word half wrong. Let's do um, pose, which isn't a word. See how I got these letters, but the first letter was wrong. What about pull there. Okay, yeah, so that's going to work. Okay, so now, what if the letter is correct, but it's in the wrong position? Well, we're going to stick that in the else. We're going to have another if this time. Oh, here, we're going to take the original answer. We're going to say the answer dot includes guess square bracket i. So in this case, we've already determined that if the guess on that letter were correct, it would turn it green. But if it's not correct, then we're just going to check if that letter in the guess is even included anywhere in the answer. And if it is, we're going to turn the background yellow. So let's copy this guy and bring it down here and make it yellow. And if neither one of those is true, so it's not in the right spot and it's not in the word at all, then we know that it's the wrong letter. So we're going to set it gray. Alright, let's try this. Codes is the correct answer. If we change it to coder, this last one should be gray. And if we change it to dokes, then we should have a few yellows because they're in the wrong spots. Okay, I think that's working. We'll call this part two.